How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute and I'm back now. I've been busy doing a lot of life things. You can't do anything about it, but keep moving on. So hopefully we can change that up today. And we are gonna be starting a little project, which is right there. We're gonna be pulling the motor out of that thing today. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Let's see how we do it. Cause this is kind of the first time for me. Uh, maybe the third time for my buddy. It's just a flip car build. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started onto this video. I know I'm gonna keep saying build, but I don't know what else to call it. I think it's just a project or it's really just a flip. So I don't know. Damn, so this is the homie Ramiro's build. It's freaking insane. He's come a long way with this thing, honestly. I don't know if I've ever recorded this before, but man, he's getting up there. But here's the Z, guys. It's a 2003, um, it's a touring edition, which comes with the leather seats, and I believe the, oh, it doesn't come with the um, navigation. We kind of just picked this up, honestly, from this like junkyard slash third party dealership. So um, there's a little cosmetic issues going on with it, but we're definitely gonna be learning as we go. Usually we do things at my house, but on this build, we're gonna be doing it at the homie Romero's house. So, there he is. What's up, big homie? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. We doing a we doing a series, my boy. Hi, hi, I just Yep. Ready to get started on this build? Yep. Gonna have to take off the whole front end. See what we can do today. Yeah. guys a little bit of an update we have the whole front end out minus the condenser we're just gonna set that aside all it was is a couple fucking bolts and really just taking all the lines out connectors that need to be taken out of course the bumper radiator fan all that crap needs to come out so that's part of the front end but yeah it's all right here it's pretty much the core support or radiator support that's one of the biggest things taking out the whole front end so once we get that done, we're gonna go work our way down to the drive shaft, taking all that out, any connectors that go along with it. And we're gonna go ahead and take the motor mounts out or take the motor mount bolts out and then take out the engine. There's not much to this, but it's, it's pretty easy. It's a good DIY, it's just, this is my first time on this motor at least. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Guys, we're in the process of taking out the plane as well, everything on top end. <laughs> Wiring harness needs to come out as well. And look what we found out. Damn, look at all that water, dude. That's crazy. Probably can't see. Oh, valve. First one, second one, dude. There's the second one's overfilled. That's crazy. Alright guys. We have everything underneath off. Transmission mount off. 
dry shaft, part of the exhaust, because we're gonna bring the, the original cats with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put an engine hoist on this thing. We're thinking about putting a chain uh, on here and there. Probably wouldn't try this, but it's worked before with us. got the motor out all that shit it's from the ac yeah all there was is a couple harnesses on the transmission some bolts so you have to disconnect and you just know how it goes whenever you're taking out a motor we're gonna get ready to remove the transmission and separate it from the engine swap the other engine over replace any gaskets or just see what we're gonna do from there Guys, we're at the point right now we're actually just taking the accessories off from the front of the motor and then of course like I said before we're gonna take separate it the transmission but we don't know how it's gonna go as planned because it's got hydro locked so we don't know if that torque converter and all that's gonna stay within it we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna just try to remove the bell housing bolts and then separate it like that hopefully it separates and then for now, we're just swapping all, all over the accessories because the new motor over there does not have any accessories. So we're just swapping over, doing all that right now. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, just any hoses that you see, uh, we're getting cleaned off as well. And uh, yeah, we're going, going as is. So we'll see. All right, guys, we have the transmission separated from the engine. The only thing to it is the torque converter, which is stuck on the flywheel and of course on the engine itself so to do that we're gonna have to you know tear apart the motor find the bad rod and piston that's that's bad and take that off but that's a whole nother like side project so at this point we're just gonna buy another torque converter buy some gaskets and everything to go on another motor tomorrow we'll be going back in hopefully after we refresh this motor this one came off of the G35. Has a, uh, I think 80,000 miles on this thing is what the guy has shown me on the odometer before it came out because he uh, he crashed it. So yeah, <clears throat> I don't know what kind of paint job he tried to do on this thing, but um, that ain't my thing. That ain't my problem. <laughs> as long as it works and we spun it and we saw the compression, we felt it. So we just don't know how much compression it is. And so we're just, we're praying right now. Cross the fingers, but. As soon as we get all that transferred over tomorrow from there, that, that motor, basically, because we already got the accessories off. That's what we're doing all day today. We're going to transfer all this stuff onto here and then cleaning as much as we can, making it look nice, going back in with it and yeah, go on from there. throat's pretty messed up right now. I wanted to show you guys that we got a power washer today. So we're gonna be able to power wash this whole car. My voice is going out. So if I don't talk for the most of the video, I might have him talk or just, you know, show you guys what we're doing. So um, thank you guys, stay tuned. All right, so I got my voice back a little bit. Went to the parts department at Nissan and grabbed a couple of things that we needed, like valve cover gaskets, some plenum gaskets, and some other things. Hit that with a little bit of the greaser. Yeah, buddy. Step one, always remove the engine. You know, anything, anything that's in the way, just get it out of there. You don't need it.
All right, guys, we finally got the motor all assembled. Right now, we're just taking off all that nasty paint that they had on there. That we're using brake cleaner. Does the job, so hopefully within the next few hours, it'll look like a brand new motor, so. Here's how the Z turned out. Super clean. Don't mind that, it's a little bit of rust there, but oh well. But yeah, came out really nice. But yeah, guys, getting everything cleaned up. So tomorrow, we're gonna put that bad boy in there. So yeah, hope for the best. All right, guys, we finally have it all assembled. Again, we're waiting for this to dry out. We're about to power wash this thing, make it look brand new again. So, hell yeah. Let's do it. Everything's back in the car already. Tomorrow, all we're gonna do is just connect all the accessories and all the little stuff. But damn, this turned out really nice. Finally got all the gaskets for the plenum, topping off all the power steering fluid, coolant, we just got that. Just turning the oil, make sure the oil is left in there from old stuff. And now, clean that up. There it is, guys. It's all put back together. Only thing we're missing is the intake manifold with the uh, plenum, all that, well, same thing, but intake. But we're waiting for a few gaskets today to get it. So everything is put back together on now, rewired up. And uh, the only thing we're really missing as well is just the torque converter bolt. We're about to do that and top off all the fluids. And yeah, we're gonna be ready to start here pretty soon. Currently taking off the cross member to be able to get access to the torque converter bolts. So in case you guys are doing this, make sure you take this cross member off first and then you can access it. All right guys, it's finally done. Plenum's on. This thing is ready to start. As soon as we get the battery uh, jump box on it, a little bit more coolant. Other than that, we're gonna be ready to start in a few minutes. Hey guys, so we had to remove the original cats from it because it's obvious there's something plugged up in there. Stick the cats off, now we're gonna restart it and see how it goes, because it was running really rough from a clogged up cat. So, here comes nothing. That's basically it. We had to just order some new test pipes for this thing because the cats are no good on this thing. So we're gonna order some test pipes off of Amazon or eBay and get this thing rolling. I probably have dirt and shit all over my, look at this dude, come on now, bro. Damn. It sounds loud as crap, but it's running good. So it's definitely that cat issue. got to replace those cats ASAP but hey it's running it's doing its job 
And so now we just have to bleed it properly when, it, when we get those cats in. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on another one. Thanks.